Hello, my name is Daniel C, and today I will be showing you how to use the web 2.0 tool, classmarker.com. So once you've reached the website, you will want to go to the top right and click register free. So because you're using this as a teacher website to make and give out tests to students, you will go to administrators and uh, click educational use. Here's everything that you need to make an account. Just put in your name, make a username, email, etc., etc. I, however, already have an account, so I will log in under that account. Okay, so once you log in, you see a very uh, basic tutorial of sorts on how to create tests, assign them to a group, and then analyze the results. So, first, I will show you how to create a test. What you want to do is you want to go to create and click. Now we need to name the test. So for simplicity's sake, I'll just go history, history chat, chapter one. And click start adding questions. Next, we go to the fix questions tab where we see the options add new, import new, and select from your question bank. Currently, you have no questions made, so you cannot select from your question bank. However, if you wish to do that in the future, it basically just is an easy way to put questions that you've already made into a into a test. But for now, we're going to make a new question. So we hit Add New, and it brings us to this page where it gives you multiple options for a new question. You have multiple choice, true, false, free text, grammar, and even an essay. Now I will show you how to create a simple multiple choice question. The question I will be using is, what is the name of our first president? So what is the name of our first president? So now you can have four different options to choose from, although if you would prefer more, you can hit the add more answer option and it gives you E, F, G, other things like that. But for now, I will make four simple options, such as Madison. Uh, I'll make this one the correct answer, Washington. Um, Jefferson. And just throw out an answer, Obama. So, obviously B is the correct answer. So I will check that this answer is correct. And then I can go down here and I can change the points available and I can even randomize answers. So now that I have created this question, I will save it. And then now it is um, saved to my question bank. So now that I have shown you how to create a test and add questions to it, I will show you how to create a group. Groups are for when you have multiple classes and you have to make sure that a certain test gets out to a certain class and doesn't get mixed up. So first you want to click on groups. So right now I don't have any groups created. So I want to hit the new group option on the right. And group name, I'll just make it US History. So now I have a group, but I have to add members, which will be the students that come in to take my tests. So I want to go to the add members tab and there are two ways to do this. You can either enter a member from scratch, such as going in and creating their name, putting in their email, other things like that. But the much more simple option is to create registration codes. So let's say I have 10 students in my class. I would select the number 10. And so now I get 10 registration codes to give to those 10 students. So now I'll hit add member registration codes and I will print the registration codes. So now these are the actual codes that the students will use to get into the website and take my test. So now that I have members to take the test, I will now show you how to assign a test to the members of the group. So we're going to want to go back to this page and we're going to go to tests and we have history chapter one. I will want to go over to the right and hit assign. 
Now since we're using this website for educational use, we will want to use the via group option. So I'll hit assign to group and I'll select the US history group. Hit next. Now this is the page that you come to. This is your settings page where you can customize everything and create the environment that you want the test to be taken in, such as making it available from a Wednesday to a Friday, or making a time limit of maybe 60 minutes, anything that you want. So then you hit assign, and then now the test is out and students can take it. So now that I've shown you how to create tests, make questions, assign people to your group, and even assign tests to a group, I will show you how a student can sign in, take the test, and then what the teacher will see after, after the students have taken the test. So now I will assume from the point that I am coming from a student that ha does not have an account on this website. So I go to the register free. And I am now a test taker, so I will register to take a test. Now, earlier I copied a registration code, so I'll, t I'll uh, put that code in here, and then I'll make a name. So, type in the name, create an account, just like before. And now, I will agree and register. So I will log in from the perspective of a student. So I will log in and it recognizes me. So now, now that I'm in, I have all my tests aligned on the left side of the screen. So they'll hit start and then the instructions come up. It tells you basically everything that the teacher customized on that setting screen that I showed you earlier, like such as number of questions, the time limit, number of attempts to allow it to test, and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and hit start, and I will complete the test, and I will hit finish now. So now that I finished the test, it immediately tells me everything about the test I need to know. So how many points I got out of the amount that were possible, my percentage, even how long I took the test. So now that I've done that, I will show you what the teacher will see when he or she goes to analyze the data that the student has given from the test. So I will log in. And so now next to History Chapter 1, I can click the results since one of my students has taken it and completed the test. So I see their name, and I see their percentage, their score, and even how long it took, took them to uh, take the test. So then I will go to answers if I wish, and it shows me all the questions on the test, and I can look and I can see which questions that the students got wrong and what answers they chose over the correct answers. So that is really all there is to classmarker.com. I thank you all for watching the video, and I hope that classmarker can be an advantageous tool in your classroom.